here is Marlow. I want to show you the latest little project I have. I didn't show this all the way, so it'd be easy to open. So back here, if you're a Vanagon owner, you probably spent some time lifting this up or digging around and all the stuff. So. This is what I've installed, okay? It's just a little LED light bar. Why did I go with this one? Well, I did like the fact that it had little points to screw to on both ends, okay? So that's the main reason. It's not super bright, like going to blind you, but it's bright enough. What I have over here is where the wire goes through here. Actually, I put a little hole through there. It drops down in the luggage area, which is behind here. Goes through, down, under to my auxiliary battery. This hole right here is going to be a switch. This little guy. So I'm just going to wire it. I'm going to not wire it so the LED is always shining, okay? I'm just going to use it as a, a single throw switch to get this to go. Because if you get used to it, you'll know, oh wait, right here's a switch. And so you'll be able to cut it on. So I'm going to finish wiring this up and show you the results. You can see I have my auxiliary battery under the rear bench. And if you look closely, you can see the hole where I've drilled through the side right there. Top right. So I'm going to open this up and show here. you what I'm doing. I'm going to run the wire from there down with those wires and all the way down through that. Oh gosh, there's my thing of ring terminals. Oh my gosh, they're way down there. Can you see that? Dope. I need to get those out somehow with like some chopsticks or something. Good gosh. There's all kinds of junk in there. Oh well. So here we go. First things first. I'm pulling that out of the way. Pull this guy up and out. Alright. Let me get Get down there and clean that stuff up way up in there. It's been a while, but I think that's old stuff that I just haven't reached down it to get. Oh, I don't think there's a new mousey rat. So here we go. This guy in the hole that I drilled. Way down here. Come on. You can do it. And oh, it's working. Yes. Yes. It's, 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 it's good. There we go. Here we go. So now, this is not the most fun wire to work with, but it's awesome because it's nice and coated. But these wires are actually twisted through here. So you got to first cut back the white and then you got to untwist the two guys in here. But hey, we'll take it. I won't bore you with that, especially since uh, I can edit out when I cut my hands because I'm trying to cut all that stuff off. And then I'm going to put ring terminals. I'll show you all that. Connect it to here and here. Along with this guy. You always need these guys. These guys are great. Little fuse holders. And, uh, and once we get that, we'll have the live wires uh, fed through there into the back where that little red hole is. I mean, the red wire going in that little hole. Be good to go. Quick tip on this kind of wire if you end up buying it. The first time I had had this, I actually took my knife and slit this. Only problem is, is you risk slitting into the insulation on those wires. So I'm just patient and I use the scissors on my little Swiss Army knife and slowly work my way down. And that is how I back it up a little bit enough to make the connection. Since this is actually just going to butt into another wire, I'm only going to cut it back a little bit. It's the one down here that I have sticking out that I want to peel back enough to reach both parts of the battery. Hopefully this will make sense. There is the wire with the insulation cut back. I'm actually not going to cut the insulation off. That way when I butt these things together, I can actually fold it back over and, uh, and then get it to either use some heat shrink if I have it available or just some good old-fashioned uh, electrical tape so that's the next step. Right, um, a little different video just because I almost always work at this at night just you know I have a day job 
I'm going to use one of these. Hopefully it will work. I've never really used one, but it's supposed to be a good wire stripper on this. So I'm just going to put this over the end and hope it works. Please work. Oh my gosh, that was so easy. I, I totally recommend this. This is the cheap buddy one. Let's see, get in a light, get in a light. Holy cow, this is just the buddy one from Harbor Freight, but oh my gosh. If it does it twice in a row, it's a winner. That, this is amazing. Because the only thing I've ever used before are these things. You know, where you gotta pull them apart and kind of line it up. Not knocking these. I've, I've bought plenty of these because they're cheap. But this was same cost because it's at Harbor Freight Tools. That's awesome. Man, that's awesome. Why did not I buy that like 10 years ago? Okay. Seen as that. Alright, everybody. I've pulled enough of this white insulation off. So I got... These wires separate enough where they'll reach both sides. Of course, they'll be flip-flopped because that's positive. Uh, what I want to do is I'm just going to touch them there to make sure that light lights up. Okay? Well, when I do that, if that works. That means all my lines are running just perfect. So that means I'm going to, that little hole in there, that's where I'm going to put that switch. So then I'm going to wire the switch up, make sure that's good, then touch it to that again. Use the switch over there, and if all that's good, then just clean it up. And of course, don't forget our lovely fuse holder that we're gonna put down there. That's it. Okay, so what I have, I have some butt connectors, ring terminals, oh, don't lose it. Um, more ring terminals. And then, of course, this guy, the fuse. So what I'm gonna do, have these two. Okay, let's quit moving you all around. All right. So right here, I have ring terminals. I don't need those for this, but I got butt connectors and this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, connect it to, to a butt connector to the wire down there, and then connect ring connectors. So these are the blue ones, so this, uh, you see the gauge, 16 to 14. Also have some more over here that I bought and lost. Or maybe I bought and lost the other ones. I don't know. I buy and lose a lot of stuff because I'm not very organized. Um, these are some more. This is uh, 12 to 10 gauge. That's pretty thick. So we probably won't end up using the blue ones, but we'll see. one oh my goodness my ring terminals are too small oh shoot see that's not very nice <laughs> well there you have it folks how to not do something right the first time Well, as it would have it, my ring terminals are just slightly too small. I got a quarter inch, and my guess is that is not a quarter inch. Well, I know it's not a quarter inch because it doesn't fit. Because um, when I go to put the guy on there, he does not want to go. Oh, boo. So I got two options. One, cut these back, replace them, blah, 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 blah. Or find a block of wood, set this guy on there, and drill it out a little bit. Which is probably what I'm going to do. Alright, so these are the wires I have. Um, these, I bought these. These are just tin snips. But when they had them at Walmart, it said airplane cutters or something. I was like, I must have this. Um, this is just a maybe an overly ambitious side cutter thing, but it's great for crimping these things off. Let's see. 
I'm going to first try to, no, nah, that ain't going to come off. I, I was so proud. I did like the best crimping job on these things just to be thwarted. Um, so rather than pull and have other stuff come apart, oh, sorry, camera, I'm going to cut these off. Very sad. Very sad. Oh, okay. The sadness is over. Next part is this rad tool. This is, I think it was $7.99 at Harbor Freight. This is changing my life. Well, not really, just for like little projects like this. So you just click it on here. Man, that was easy. Why didn't I buy this like 10 years ago? Man, that was awesome. Got to have one of those. And they're so cheap. This is not sponsored content. This is confessions of a guy who never gets stuff finished. And I'm so happy that there's something to make my life easier. So we're going to actually try to use these. These have the heat shrink on them. Uh, never use them. Which, you know, usually when I say, I've never done this before, that's going to turn out well, isn't it? So here's that one. Here's this one. First things first, check to make sure it fits the terminal. It does! So happy. One question is, yeah, there we go. So I have two of them. So I'm gonna feed this guy into here. Come on. Come on. All right. Woo. Whoa, not too far. Right there. And then I have my glorious, really cheap. Come on. Right there. You can do it. All right, that's smushed in there pretty good. I'm gonna do it one more time just for kicks. Make sure it holds in there. And next, we're gonna get a lighter and burn junk. Sweet. Okay. So I've never done this before. This is gonna be cool. So this is what it looks like. Got my little flamey thing. And I'm not going to cut it, catch it on fire, Hope. Come on. Come on. Yeah, this is... Maybe I need a heat gun. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Don't want to catch junk on fire. Come on. I'm trying to, like, you know, make passes on it. So, I'm sure there's some heat threshold in here somewhere. That I'm not cutting kind of it up. Gosh, gosh, come on, come on, come on. You know what? I did not do something. I did not make sure that connection was fit before I melted that joker on there. Don't do like Thomas. <laughs> okay, we're just going to continue because now the damage is done. So now, woohoo! Now we're just going to do the other one, see what happens. If this works, this is going to be a game changer too. I like it. Even though it looks like the bottom of some rolls I cooked in the oven. All right. Inline. Fuse. Coming in hot. Come on, it's in the hole. Yeah. All right. There's this guy. Let's see here. Come on. Does it matter which way? I'm trying to think. Urgh. Oh man, that didn't sound good. It sounded like it was cracking. Alright. There's this. It's kind of snug. Oh well, let's see what happens. I'm going to click over the light. Yeah, give me a minute. <clears throat> so I'll give you a sneak peek at the battery. So here's my positive, here's my negative. 
I'm a little worried about my negative because it got mangled up when I was drilling something. But oh, wait. Here we go. Checking the light. Oh yeah, the light's working. It's working, people. I'm so stoked. I might actually finish a project in January of 2021. So, and then clean out the van because it's awful. Okay, so here we go. Work it, work it, work it. Come on, baby. Work it, work it. If you notice, I'm trying not to burn it, but now that I'm burned pretty good. And you probably need to do this like a well ventilated area. Anytime you're burning like scientific plastic, I'm sure the fumes are not like OSHA approved to breathe in your lungs, but who knows? Maybe it's made out of happy things like gummy bears. Here we go. Do, do, do. Come on. Get it. Get it. Oh, that was smoking. All right. Now let's see. Oh gosh, there's that. And if you notice, in the land before I knew of ring terminals, I did this. It would probably be wise just to go ahead and put another one on there. Do you think? Oh man, more work for myself. Cleaning up old jobs. Incoming for the aircraft Clippers. I tell you what, though, between that and these guys, oh gosh, it's not that big of a deal. I say that. Look at me. I'm like, it's not that big of a deal. And then it doesn't work. Come on, you piece of cheese. Work, work. What is the matter with you? I'm making a very poor advertisement of these things. Come on, one more time. Urgh. Okay. Did this thing get melted in there or something? Man. This is the older wire. Let's just try it one more time. But we're going to do something crazy. We're going to cut it down even more. Oh, man. You can do it. Hang on. I'll adjust this thing, maybe? What does this thing do? This is why you read the instructions before you do stuff, maybe. Yeah, same thing. It, like, squishes down. Oh, that's so much better. Okay, success. Ish. Whoa. Okay, fella. Let's get in there. Boy, lose steam and don't finish the project. I'm so proud I'm about to finish. Okay. Woo you can do it. Make sure the wire's nice and set in there. Smush. Smush one more. Ow, smush one more time. Okay. I smooshed it. I'm very impressed with my smooshing it. Oh, come on. Come for this angle. Okay. That isn't that good. Okay. So, fire again. It's probably why I did this again. Because I'm like, I get to burn more stuff. Come on. I saw a guy use these online. And like he legit lit it on fire. And just from reading the comments... I'm grateful for the dude's video because it showed me what these things were. But man, people lit him up in the comment section. So, if you feel the need to light me up with the comment section too, go ahead. But know that I'm trying not to catch me or it on fire. Alright. Yes. Come on. Sweet. Now, this go on here look at my pretty ring tone i did not do that one that one's like professionally done from the charger 
I do not have skills like that. But I do have a washer. And, oh crap. Where's my wing nut? Hello, wing nut. Did I lose the wing nut? Oh man. Oh man. Oh, it's here. Look, it's right there. Somebody call the organizational police and report me. Yeah, we gotta do, do, do. There's this one. Firm, firm, firm. Ta da! Okay. Moment of truth. And you know what? Once again, I apologize. I gotta bring you along with my really poorly done um, previous projects. I will cut this part out, but I'm gonna put a ring terminal on for the good of humanity. Good gosh, that exploded. This one's working well. Make sure it goes. Kacha. Kacha. Hello, hello, I know you want to work. Like it. Yeah. Good one, come on. Come on. Come on. Get up in that thing. Oh, where's my washer? Oh, man. Wash her down. Oh man, did you for real just touch the golly? Ah. Oh man, help me. In, in, all right. Now, whew, that took forever. Let's check out the damage done. There's all the mess. This is gonna go in a different thing. There's my battery. All right, welcome back. So, what are we doing? Other than having leaves fall in the car. So, got this bar, styling it, soldered in my switch got to get some new ring terminals because bought the wrong size and did a lot of work for nothing uh, so that's it what i want to do is when i finish i'm going to take this push it in there because it does clip in pretty good but it is a little bit deeper so i want to hot glue the rest of it in the top because that's the approved uh, automotive association's method of making things stick in a car just kidding uh, yeah, and then we'll be done with the project, maybe. Got all my implements of destruction in the back. I gotta put those on too. But here's my light up under here. And the light, I mean not the light, the wire goes through there. But then that was when I had it initially wired. Well now I've got this hole. So what I did was I pulled this out and I gently clipped between the wires. Because I only want to snip one of them, okay? I only want to cut that one. 
because it's going to go on this little switch. It's going to leave this guy alone, the negative. Uh, so I'm going to cut this one, connect it to this, make sure this is working properly, and then uh, solder it on. I'm not the biggest, best person at soldering, but it definitely needs to be done on this one for this guy here. So that's what we're going to do. First things first, I'm going to snip the red like that. And now we're going to get our groovy wire stripper thing and see if it works on a little bitty wire. <laughs> so here we go. Let's just see. It's probably, I probably need to adjust the screw on it. Yeah, I can see it's not. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's so pretty. All right. That's awesome. So maybe just twice. Uh-uh. Get up on that thing. Oh crap, I will warn you that if your hand goes into there, that is the wire cutter part and it pinches the cush out of you. I mean, don't pull that wire, sorry, don't pull that wire apart a little bit to get so I can get to it better. Again, let's see here, come on. Oh, you know you want it. Oh, finally. How bad did I mangle that wire up? Okay. Well, there we go. We got two wires. About to connect it to this little guy and see what happens. Alright, so here is all the damage. Got stuff strung everywhere. Sonic Cub. Here's my solder. I'm going to actually make sure that this solder is what I need. I got this thing plugged in. And first thing I'm going to do is just try to melt some of that solder. Make sure it goes, and then I want to solder this guy. And I'm not very good at it, so we're going to see how well this goes or, or doesn't go. So, there we go. That way you can come along for the ride. Woohoo! Kind of did a decent job at that one, surprisingly. And watch it speak too soon. Speak too soon. Yeah, that one's. Pretty off. Mm hmm. Woohoo! I'm quite content. I'm content. There we go. Slick. Ah, oh, it's on. And I can turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Yes. Pure awesomeness. Thank you for joining me. Oh, I finished a project in 2021. I now can like take a break till 2022, right? Um. So uh, I'll keep you posted. This was installing a light in the back mile of the Vanagon. And I'll try to piece together the different videos um, to show you kind of how I routed the wires. And that's it. Yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good one.